the stand down is veterans serving veterans. And so you have the atmosphere of most of us here who are working the activities and the tasks, we're also veterans. This is really great, this is really great. You know, I really appreciate what they're doing. I had a lot of dental work done, I had a lot of legal matters taken care of, uh, and everybody here is very respectful and uh, treat us proper, and it's just awesome. It's, it's really cool. A lot of our Vietnam vets came home, and they weren't welcomed home. And a lot of them feel forgotten. And this way, it's, I don't want to say a celebration, but it, get the group together. We share, they share stories. And it's, you know, you might have a veteran here, or a veteran there, but when they come together, they realize they're not alone. That there, there, there are people out there that care about them. And that there's someone to help them with their journey. The stand down this is called the 2016 Monterey County Stand Down for Homeless Veterans. So the, the term stand down originated, uh, well, it was used back in Vietnam, where if you're on uh, patrol, say a combat unit was on patrol or out doing recce, they'd be out in the field for a few weeks at a time. And by the end of the time, well, they were worn out, beat up, uniforms dirty, uh, running out of ammo and equipment broken, that sort of thing. So it was time to come back. They would get an order from the commander and say, okay, I want that unit to stand down. Come back into camp, rest, reconstitute, get new uniforms, get new weapons, uh, ammunition, and uh, maybe a cold beer. And, you know, relax for a while, uh, get your energy back, and then they're going to go back out in the field and do it again. So it was a respite from the war, a respite from conflict. And so the same analogy kind of applies here uh, as we're trying to uh, help the homeless veteran population of Central California. So they're out in the field, out in the streets, uh, all over the place, and we want them to stand down. Come in to one location, uh, assemble here, we'll come and get you. We got buses and rides and transportation. We're bringing those veterans here as best we can. And then when you get here, we're going to put you up for a couple nights, and we're going to feed you, we're going to give you clothes and gear. Uh, we're going to provide legal services, medical services, dental services. Um, we've got the VA here, we've got the county uh, veteran service offices here to process claims and to ensure that that veteran is registered in the healthcare system and the benefits system and is getting e eligible for every benefit or service that's due that veteran. And uh, so there's a ton of more sort of employment services, housing services, right? Uh, we have the SPCA is here to help the, the veterans' pets who often are their best friends, right? So, so there's something here for everybody. We got games, we got music, good food, and uh, a lot of friends here who want to support these veterans. So we have a a ton of volunteers have come out from the community to uh, help and assist with the setup of this, at this location of our tent city and our service providers and, uh, and they're assisting the veterans in uh, many different ways. I'm, I'm the labor coordinator for, for the tent construction. So um, they bring in crews, volunteers, um, and we set up tents. It takes about five to six people to put up a tent. We have a little class on how to set them up and then we break them into crews and we erect about a hundred or so tents here. We have different facilities. We have legal facilities, registration, barracks for women and men and children, um, all the services that the veterans will be provided with, medical, um, um, SPCA. So there's so many different um, small complexes within the, the giant stand down. Right behind us we have dormitory, we have our single men moving in right now and uh, they'll be bunking in there for the duration of the stand down. Right now, it's, it, today is Friday, it's the first day, they just had the opening ceremonies, everybody came in, we are checking people in, giving them a sense of how we can help them, where we can help them, and to the extent of what exactly we can do here. So this morning, this afternoon, is actually just a check-in right here. Tomorrow, we're gonna have public defenders, we're gonna have someone, uh, we're gonna have uh, judges from, I think, five counties, Alameda, Santa Cruz, uh, San Joaquin, Monterey, San Benito, almost five or six counties, they're all going to be here, judges who have volunteered to come here to hopefully actually do something, get something done. So this isn't just come here, we'll tell you where to go and then kind of go out and just go out, you know, back to the, your county. No, we're going to have judges here who are actually going to take care of business, which is, that's unique and I think that's what's special about uh, this tent and this stand down. This is my third stand down. This is 
was the third stand down and I've attended all three and helped out in all three. And let me tell you, uh, you talk to veterans who you see come through this weekend and you see it gives them, it's, it's, it's refreshing and it really helps them get on their feet and get moving in the right direction. That's what I've seen firsthand, and I'm sure we're gonna see it come Sunday when they leave these gates. They're gonna feel refreshed and ready to go uh, and hopefully get back on their feet to you know, get back in our community and play a part in our community. Monterey County Superior Court is one of, one of six courts here um, assisting the, the homeless uh, veteran with regards to uh, uh, you know, minor, uh, minor traffic cases, uh, failing to pay fines, uh, failing to uh, uh, pay, failing to appears, uh, where there are civil assessments oft, often that uh, often add up uh, uh, pretty greatly. Um, you know, these cases are are uh, the, the individual is allowed to uh, to work off uh, his or her fine or fee. And, uh, and have their cases cleared. One reason why the legal is absolutely critical is because a lot of these guys, they're homeless veterans, right? They don't have mailing addresses. When you don't have a mailing address and, and you get in trouble with the law, there's no way for me to ever get my, my ticket. Then I get a warrant because I never got my ticket because I didn't go to court, so I get a failure to appear. You get a failure to appear and they put a warrant on you for how many thousand, $2,500. But here the, the judges are sympathetic to the needs of the vet, homeless veteran, so these guys get an opportunity to go before the judge, have their cases heard, as long as they're not felonies, and get some of their warrants handled and fines can be rescinded. This way they don't keep getting worse and worse and worse. What's happened in previous stand downs uh, is that veterans' lives have been changed. So we've, we'll find veterans that end up getting a job because they came here. And because they got the job, then they have employment and income. And then, you know, that creates self esteem and pride and, and money. And you pay the bills, and then you can find your own place to live. And, and maybe the family rejoins them, or they rejoin the family. So uh, that, that happens at every stand down. Not everybody will get their life changed here, but they certainly have the opportunity, and some certainly will. I do work at the Veterans Transition Center, and um, I lived there in 2008. I was homeless. I went to First Step, got out of First Step, went into the VTC, got a housing voucher because of the, the stand down in 2008. They had a 300 veterans at the stand down in 2008 was in Santa Cruz Mountains. On the last day, they gave out five housing vouchers, which are Section 8 vouchers for veterans. They called four people's names, and then they called mine. So within two weeks, I was out of the Veterans Transition Center, which is housing for homeless veterans, and I was housed in my own place in Monterey, and I've, been, I've lived there ever since. I have not lost my pad, and I was able to give my housing voucher back to the, the, the program so that they could give it to another veteran, and then I pay my own rent now, which is 1500 bucks a month. The VTC hired me almost three years ago, part-time, and I've been working there ever since, and I was able to go to school. When I, started, when I was at the VTC, they encouraged us to, to better ourselves. I went to, uh, I went to um, Monterey Peninsula College and I got an Associate in Science degree in Human Services. Then from there I applied to CSUMB and I got into CSUMB. I've been there for about five semesters and I'm working on a bachelor's degree in social work right now. So my veteran brothers and sisters came to my aid when I needed help and then now I get to do this, the same exact thing for other veterans who are where I was almost eight years ago. Ultimately the goal here is find a way to change that veteran's life. Right? We, be it through a job, uh, be it through a new set of teeth you know, or some dental care, be it through a legal process, um, some way uh, where we, we aim to change lives and to help lives. I'm delighted to see the growth of the stand down. It's getting to be one of the bigger ones in California, and, but we're the ones that has the most services. None of them have all the legal, all the dental, I mean, to the, to the magnitude that we have it. The good thing from the county is, originally it was support 
via voice and attitude, and that was really cherished. We, we really welcomed the supervisors and all the department's support. But this last year, the county decided that based on our request, they could help us fund the stand down. So they gave us $35,000 a year toward the stand down, and that's every other year. So it's two years between stand downs, so we end up with $70,000 toward the stand down. It costs about 150 to put it on. So that's almost half, and it helps pay for extra staff time. Monterey County played a big part, I believe, in the funding part of it to secure the benefits up front prior to stand down. So Military Veterans Affairs Office, as you can see, we have the Veterans Service Office here where we have a tri-county venture with uh, Monterey, San Luis Obispo, and um, Santa Cruz County, and San Benito County, which we have um, a Veterans Service rep in. What brought me down is because I was served divorce papers as soon as I got into rehab, and I just wanted them looked over. Um, I don't have any other legal issues, just a ticket that I want to get uh, probably you know, checked off. Also, I have some, uh, from machine gun fire, I have some ringing in my right ear, tinnitus, and I never filed for that, and I've been out since 94, so, or 95, and I just want to make sure that, you know, if it's service related, I, you know, I'm not going to be greedy, I want what's mine, uh, and uh, also the camaraderie, you know, I didn't, uh, I, I, you know, I'm not, I'm homeless, but I'm working on other things for that right now, and... That's kind of much it for that. You know, another good way to stay sober, you know, doing things. My job was to collect all the donations. Uh, we're going to have clothing for the vets, nose to toes, inside and out, including shoes, boots, jackets. Uh, they'll be able to leave with a, a new sleeping bag and blanket if they like. They'll have bags for their clothes and then shower supplies, anything and everything we could get for them to help keep them clean and dry as the season comes. Uh, there's everybody here. There's people from the American Legion, where I'm personally a member of the Sons of the American Legion. There's people from my church, people just people wanting to help come out and help and volunteer. And it's really great to see all the different people coming out to support homeless veterans. Donations of clothing come from all sorts of organizations. The different American legions have been putting out clothing barrels. Um, people I know know that I do this, so they just call me and, hey, we have some donations. It's a truly a community-wide effort. It's, I basically set up a store, and then on Saturday, when they come in Friday, We'll get them a, like a shoulder bag with a pair of socks, uh, underwear, sweatpants, t-shirt and a shower kit and they'll be able to come in and shower and get comfortable. And then Saturday they come through, uh, one tent at a time or barracks, and hopefully we'll have enough volunteers on hand that we actually assign them a uh, personal shopper that will go through the, the tent with them, help them pick out t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, a jacket, you know, so they get that one-on-one -on -one personal attention as well. And it's just, just a little extra bit to make their day a little brighter. Gently used shoes are our biggest item that we have trouble with. That and jeans, blue jeans. Um, we have such a wide variety of sizes of men and women. And we do serve female vets at this event as well. The stand down is a great event to be a part of uh, for our organization because it gives us an opportunity to help out the vets um, along with their animals because along with people always comes their animals and we always need to help them out. So that's why we're out here today to ensure that they uh, have a place to bring their animals for boarding if they need to take care of um, other um, things that they're here for in terms of um, legal paperwork or the dental um, services that are provided here. We can um, babysit their dogs for a little bit at least. If not, um, we can help them out with um, any uh, vaccines that need to be updated, um, flea treatment, food. We have free food for, him, for them as well. Um, so it's really important for us to be here to provide that service for them. These dogs give them companionship and um, it gives them somebody that they can confide in, that can be with them through difficult times and so being here for them and for the animals is, is very, very important to us. There's a lot of uh, people who suffer from TBI, uh, um, let's say using an example with exercise, if uh, they overexert themselves then um, sometimes that could leave them uh, uh, 
uh, prone to uh, convulsions, uh, passing out, uh, loss of vision, nausea, uh, vertigo. Uh, so she actually helps uh, warn me before, warn me before I cross that threshold. Uh, and of course, um, she also helps with me with my uh, PTSD and the event uh, I go in a panic attack um, or if my anxiety spikes, then she helps uh, ground me. So I use my own experiences to uh, spread that uh, knowledge that there is more uh, resources available to veterans other than uh, medications. I'm a volunteer. Um, I. I was a homeless vet back in 2002, 2003, and two stand downs, and 10 years later, I'm, I'm not stable. So I come and I, I do tent leader stuff because I want to give back because it does work, and I want, I want to give these guys hope. You have the atmosphere of most of us here who are working the activities and the tasks who are also veterans. So we can talk to them. And they understand this, and they feel more comfortable. You see all these Vietnam hats and you know Korea hats. We have them too, you know. So they feel much more comfortable talking to the other veterans who are here helping them, and it's kind of a veterans atmosphere. And that's what it's all about. All of us, you know, are here. Uh, the American Legion. They're all veterans, and they provide the security. So everybody here has some connection to the military, and most of the people are veterans and that makes them feel really comfortable because they know we're going to take care of them. In fact, I met some guy I went through basic training with. Here. You know, I've met guys I haven't seen in God knows when. And I had, my t I had a, a cavity filled, I had my teeth cleaned, I had my toenails trimmed by a podiatrist today. We are honored and thrilled. Almost our entire staff is here today to help and we look forward to doing this. We've looked forward to doing it next year, next time it's here, we will be here as well. It, it's, a, it's a great thing that the vets have done, veterans have done for us, and we want to continue to help them do the same thing by being prosperous, finding a place to, to live, being healthy, and being able to um, live the rest of their life as they deserve to. I have one gentleman came in and he was just beaming ear to ear. He was able to get a license and be able to go get a job again. So that, I mean, he was tears coming down the face and everything. He was so happy coming around hugging all of us. This is a big hug fest because it's, I've seen they come in a little downtrodden sometimes. And when they leave here, it just helps a little pep back in their step to know that somebody cares, that we do care about them. They're not forgotten and we do honor their service. So and for personally, for me, it's my little way of giving back. This is a really good and worthy cause. There's a lot of things out there that you can volunteer for, um, but my father's a Vietnam vet and he's been working with the veterans for years. Um, I'm a member of the Ladies Auxiliary in King City and I just, I see the need out there for help for people that are struggling, people that um, they served our country, they did their part and now maybe they need a little bit of assistance and so I just, it's near and dear to my heart and I, I just think it's an important event. I really enjoy this a lot and uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for the public and thank you for the, all the services that showed up here and supporting us and, uh, and uh, I, would, I would drop everything I love and own to defend my country and uh, my flag and uh, I love America, God bless America.